You're listening to To Hatch a Pod with Key Budge, Corey Costello, Greg Garrett, and Ashley Whitmore. It's To Hatch a Pod time. Maya Acosta here introducing a new segment that we want to get going with the Tatchby Police Department. So I'm joined by a special guest here. I have Sergeant Drew Funderburg with me. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm doing well. So we brought you on. You're kind of the first test subject on here so thank you for being a willing participant yeah no problem (laughs) but really with this we just want to get to know you better and down the road pretty much everyone that works for the department uh, just to you know let the community know that you know you're not just someone rolling around in the black and white you're just a community member and a person as well so tell me a little about a little bit about yourself how you came to be a member of tpd uh, well, I've been here about eight years. Um, I came over in 2015. Um, I worked for the Arvin Police Department before that. Uh, this is my hometown, actually. I, I grew up here. My family moved here, I believe, in 88 when I was uh, about six years old. And I went to Wells Elementary and Jacobson. It was a junior high back then. It wasn't a middle school. And I went to Tatchby High School, which is now where Jacobson Middle School is at. So this is my hometown. Uh, it was always a, a dream of mine to come work here and be a police officer in my hometown. And you know, I got a lot of friends and family uh, that are still up here. That uh, you know, it's a uh, personal for me to take care of this community. Absolutely. So what what does that feel like showing up to work every day, knowing that you know you're not just protecting a community, but you're protecting your community. Um, It's a really rewarding feeling um, coming in and knowing that you're working for a great city, um, both uh, the citizens and here at uh, City Hall. uh, Everyone has our backs. You know, it's a great, it's a great place to work and I enjoy coming to work every day. Awesome. What to you is your favorite part of the job? You know, just seeing um, a difference that you make in someone's life. There's generally, uh, as a police officer, you're dealing with people on some of the worst days of their lives and just taking time to, you know, speak to them in a certain way creates a a lasting impression with them as far as law enforcement goes. And you build a rapport with your community members and, you know, that citizen will remember you uh, next time they need help or if they're a witness to something else, you know, they're more than likely to be uh, more willing to talk to you. And Yeah, absolutely. So bringing compassion to the job and to any interaction you may have with the public then. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, you know, you gotta, you have to have compassion and and reverence for everything and understand that people uh, may be falling on hard times and, you know, there's no, no reason to throw salt in their wounds. You know, you have to, you have to understand why we do the job that we do. And, uh, it's not to bring people down. It's to protect the community. And, you know, if we can help people out. Right. And you mentioned you previously worked for Arvin PD. What's it like your experience now working for TPD? Uh, if someone's, you know, interested in becoming a police officer or working for a police department, why would you suggest maybe looking at Tatchby? Uh, Tatchby, I mean, obviously, and you look outside today, the weather is uh, all the equipment that we wear um, on a daily basis coming somewhere where you have great weather and, and nice, clean air. That makes a huge difference, uh, you know, just the comfort of life and this is a really great city, really great community, and you know we have uh, the support of the citizens, the city council, and our city government, and that's uh, could be it's it's becoming a more rare and rare thing in our profession. Um, you know, a lot of the the movements across the country that we saw a couple of years ago, you know, we we didn't have that here. You know, it was it was quite the opposite. Right. And historically, a fairly low crime rate, too. Yeah, it is, and 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 it's it's a, a department that you can come and kind of make, you know, make it make it what it is. You know, you can be as as proactive as you want to be, and you know, the, the citizens appreciate that, and you know, you get a lot of uh, positive feedback from them. That's good. I think I've heard Tashby be referred to as 
the heaven between two hells. I'm not exactly sure what uh, um, that's in reference to particularly, but I think that can relate to, like you said, clean air for one, um, a supportive community, and those low crime rates. Yeah, and and and, and uh, maybe they're referring to the heat. Could you be. Know? You know, it gets pretty hot in Lancaster and Bakersfield. Um, and Bakersfield's a, a different kind of heat because it's you know you have to do all the ag down there. It gets a little a little muggy down there. Oh yeah. So. Yeah, and uh, you come up here and it's about 15 degrees cooler and a nice breeze. And it, it feels like heaven. Yeah, I uh, I commuted to Bakersfield for about two years. So, yeah, that shock of yeah. <laughs> being freezing in the morning and hot as soon as you, you know, step foot into Bakersfield and then vice versa coming home is something yeah. else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you really appreciate the, uh, the weather, the, just the community up here. And it's, it's, it's beautiful up yeah, here. Yeah, very much so. Can we talk a bit about... Um, Crime prevention. I'm kind of thinking towards the holiday season is coming up. What do you see or maybe recommend for people that are ordering a bunch of packages? There's, you know, in years past been all um, a bunch of, you know, news about porch pirates and that sort of thing. Uh, yeah. The, I mean, yeah, we're coming up on the holiday season. And um, what I do at my house is um, we have a, a big planter with uh, succulents that we keep outside and it's a good place for, um, you know, Amazon when they come drop your package because they will generally try to, you know, not have your package just sitting out in the open. If you have, you know, a, a way that Amazon can, you know, the delivery drivers can conceal the package so that someone walking by doesn't see, you know, it's like most of these are crimes of opportunity. They're just walking through the neighborhood and they see, oh, this guy's, you know, got a package here. I'm going to go take it, see what it is. And, you know, out of sight, out of mind, um, it, it'll help. It's not going to prevent all of, you know, all the thefts, but it's going to help. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Turning now to, um, some community involvement. There's a program through the Touch Me Police Department called the Volunteers and Police Services, or VIPS for short. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Um, what it means to you, you know, as a sergeant to, involve the community in that way and uh, why maybe someone should think about joining. Yeah. The, the, um, the VIPS um, program is actually very, very uh, valuable for us. As a matter of fact, um, uh, my father is a uh, volunteer for the police department. And very cool. Just called him today to go help uh, pick up some information, some uh, tapes and stuff for our, our detective bureaus and, you know, that's a task that they don't have to do because, you know, they have a volunteer um, that can go down and they can keep working on their work and he can help uh, um, get information for them. Um, a lot of the times they do court runs for us, you know, take the you know paperwork to the Mojave court. Um, we have things that sometimes need to go down to the crime lab. It's just, you know, a great way to, you know, help. Uh, augment the police department and, and you know, help with the uh, some of the day day to day tasks that you know would otherwise take a, a an officer out of service. Yeah, absolutely. Some one of the unsung heroes of the police department. You know, they they really are. They really are. You know, and um, you know, it, it's a great program, and I encourage anyone that's interested to to apply. Is there any sort of time commitment with that? Like a certain you know hours you have to put in a week or. Um, we try, you know, 18 hours a month, but it's not something that is, you know, strictly enforced. Just it, it's really a, as needed. We'll call if, um, you know, there's a court run that needs to, to be done or if there's, um, you know, like the Memorial Day Parade, Veterans Day Parade, uh, um, they'll come and help with traffic control, setting up, um, you, know, you know, barricades at certain uh, intersections and direct traffic. Yeah, absolutely. So that's even another opportunity for uh, VIPs themselves to get involved in the community too, through kind of the the face of the police department. Yeah, and it's you know, and they're they're non sworn. They're they're maybe a little bit less uh, intimidating for people to come up and talk to a, a volunteer and ask about what's going on and with the police department than than us. Sometimes we we look a little. Uh, intimidating to people. So. <laughs> no, not at all. You're yeah. sitting here without your vest. So yeah. I, 
<laughs> yeah, yeah. It's uh, I wouldn't be able to get this close to the microphone. And the best <laughs> on. <laughs> so. Well, is there anything else going on, you know, within the department or within the community that, you know, you want to share or get out there to listeners? No, I just uh, just want to let everyone know that our officers are out there doing hard work. Um, you know, we just uh, completed uh, executing five search warrants here in East Kern. Um, for a narcotics investigation that's still ongoing. And, you know, our, our officers are out there, you know, trying to keep this community as safe and pristine as, a, as possible because this, this is a, a nice jewel in this county. Yeah, it is. And you guys do a really fantastic job doing that. I appreciate that. Yeah, of course. Now, one more thing for you. As a sergeant, I know recently we've had um, three recruits go through uh, – the sheriff's academy correct yes yeah what do you how does that feel seeing those recruits come i think i may be wrong but all of them i believe are local and then being put through another local academy to then join the local team right here in tachby you know it's great um it's the first time that we're trying this um and you know recruiting in law enforcement just in general is pretty hard um the job isn't as um, desirable as it used to be just given, um, you know, politics and all that. And, um, to have people that are local, you know, you, you want people from the community that are going to stay here. And that's what we're trying to do with this uh, new recruiting program and sending people through the Academy. And, you know, we can get them out of the Academy and, and, and train them how we want our officers to be here at Tachapi police department. Wonderful. All right. Well, I thank you so much, Sergeant Funderbrick, for taking some time to come and talk to me today. And we'll uh, we'll get the rest of your department on here to uh, (laughs) sit in the hot seat as well. Yes. All right. right. Thank you. To Hatch a Pod is a conversation about To Hatch a Bee, featuring the community members who make this such a special place to call home. If you have a question or a thought you'd like to share, email media at tohatchbeecityhall.com. Thank you to Gary Mazzola for sharing his song, This is Tehachapi.